Well, hello and welcome everyone to Majesty Sussex Report After Dark. So it's really after dark, like it's it's early in the morning. Um, and the reason for this being is that I actually started to record um, what I thought was going to be uh, the episode. I started recording at around a little bit after midnight. And I finished that recording, then I listened to it, and I just thought I sounded like I was just having way too much fun and, and loopy and saying things that I should not be saying. And it just was like, no, no, I cannot use this. So that's gone. And then so I started my second recording. I did that one. And halfway through it, I said, you know what? I'm getting a little bit too like happy here in saying certain things that I should not. Again, it's not inappropriate things. It's just, um, you know, I had to say allegedly a lot. Let's put it that way. So after listening to that one too, I decided, nope, not going to work. So here we are. The, th the third time is a charm, I hope. And um, hopefully I will deliver with the same, no, not the same enthusiasm, maybe a little lower enthusiasm. I was a little bit too hyper. And it's, I mean, Tupin the Call is going to start pretty soon. <laughs> it's, it's just hilarious. But I thought we would make this a little bit easy, breezy. And um, I'm not going to do a lot of graphic stuff or anything. But there's a, there's a set of photos or pictures. And we'll just... Put one up and I'll just talk about it. And that way we will um, get through the episode um, in a more easy breezy way. So let's go with the first one. And of course I knew that was going to be the first one, right? Because um, I've done it twice already before. <laughs> this is my third time. <laughs> so, um, so when I heard this, that um, she's going to possibly show up, I just thought, okay, so the plot thickens. I still feel quite uncomfortable talking about that situation because I still feel very strongly that there is stuff happening there that people may, I don't know, people may get, okay, I'm not going to go down that road again. Um, listen, if she shows, she shows. My question is then, will we get a close up? And if we do get a close up, are we going to know if it's really her or is it like, you know, a double? And also, <laughs> is she going to look different? Because if she's doing chemo, right? And she's had an operation also. Like, I don't expect her to look the way she's been looking in these pictures. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just, I'm just going to leave that. She shows, she shows. I think that they're trying to, you know, put out some fires right now. So all this stuff is happening. And the picture that was put out, this this one here regards to her saying you know how she's how things are going and all that kind of stuff i think that's another indication that we need to you know have a communique out and just tell people something right <sighs> folks i don't know like i mean honestly let's let's just take everything away like it's not normal none of this is normal like I, I, w I was watching one of the morning shows the other day, and um, uh, Fergie was on, and she was talking to the anchor about her cancer, right? And, and going through whatever and the medication and stuff. And she was talking about, yeah, it's, it's not that great, and, 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 and so it's, it's tough on your body sometimes. But, but she's still out and about. So I don't understand. I mean, the king is out and about whenever he can too. 
So it's so suspicious. So if you're receiving free chemo or preventative chemo, which I think some doctors have said that that doesn't really make any sense. So my assumption, if it's free chemo, that means the cancer isn't there, but they're, they're giving you the chemo, so preventative. I, I, I don't know. And then sometimes they say, oh, she's so, she's not doing well, so she can't get out of bed. And then other times she's, she's, I don't know, she's jogging in the park with her kids. I just, the whole thing is just bizarre. And they've handled this so badly from the very beginning. Listen, I, I, someone said to me at one point, I think it was a, a person who was in PR, um, said, the truth is always the best answer. Now, you can, you, you can, you, you can, you can dress the, you can dress the truth up, right? And make it look prettier and make it more in your favor if something not so great happened. But trying to, it's sort of like one of those really bad um, road, what did they call road trip movies or something, where, you know, there's one that's coming to my head, I don't remember the name of it, but, you know, the girls go on vacation um, somewhere in Florida and someone comes to deliver something and then there's a misunderstanding and then the mafia was involved, but then this person gets killed and then they try to hide the body and then the cops come and then this, it's all this stuff and it's just a migmarol and you know what I mean? Instead of just, because there's always someone who will say, don't call the cops. I'd be like, listen, <laughs> I didn't do anything. So I'm calling the cops next thing you know, I'll be the, I'll be the next one that doesn't, is not alive anymore. But I, it's, it's, it's just so bizarre. Everything is weird because having people in one's family that have had cancer, like none, none of them have, have like, is, is she, it's, it's sort of almost if we were to believe everything they're saying and the way they're treating it is like, she is so particular and whatever she has is affecting her in a way that it hasn't affected anyone else in the world. You know what I mean? Like my mom, when she, like her operation and stuff, like it was, it wasn't easy. It wasn't like they, they, they did stuff. Right. And I'm not giving more details because my mom was like, don't <laughs> talk to them. I was like, yes, mom, I will not. But she, my mom, like a day or two after, she she was like getting. I'm like, mom, like you're supposed to stay in bed. No, no, no. I need to run my house. <laughs> so I don't know. I just I just hope she's all right, right? I know she's been cast as the mean girl, and she cast herself as the mean girl, and she needs to have her what's it called the the something arc, the redemption arc. This is not it, right? This is really not it. But you know, I also feel sorry for her. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it. Like I like I, I do. I feel sorry for her because I'm just a sucker that way. I feel sorry for everyone. You can say I, I, I just want people to be happy and, and good and healthy and stuff like that. I just think, you know, being always thinking about you know, a person's story or their history. You know, I think about how much of her is a consequence of her environment, right? Like, imagine having a mother, allegedly, that consistently keeps telling you, you need to marry up, you need to marry a, a, a wealthy person, you need to marry an aristocrat, we're paying all this money for you to go to these private schools. You need to make these connections, you know? And, and then, like, well, the big aim is if you were to marry royalty. So imagine that. And then you, 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 you sort of have to wait to see where the prince is going to school and, you know, 
you end up at the same university and he's busy with his boys doing his thing with his boys and you're like hi i'm here trying to get his attention and then you know one of his people says like listen william um this is the time where we need to start showing that you have a girlfriend you know so maybe that one over there is a good one she seems easy breezy easy to do. yeah okay you yeah, can do it okay all right Right? And then she, she's all okay. She's like, oh, look, I'm the girlfriend. Yay, I'm in. And then he freaking just embarrasses her in public. They break up. She becomes known as Weighty Katie. Right? While he's, like, trying to, like, do whatever he needs to do to figure himself out. And she's just there waiting. Because, folks, let me, let me, let me, let me survey this. How many of you, raise your hands, <laughs> don't raise your hands, write in the comment section, please. How many of you believe that story about he saw her at the fashion show wearing, I don't know, that bikini and that awful looking thing, whatever, and he was just like, oh, I can't, no other man can look at her. I need to marry her, be back with her. Like, come on. He's seen it already. He's seen it already. You're going to tell me that because she wore that, all of a sudden he got, he got tingly in feelings and places? Oh, please. Give me a break. I have a piece of cheese to sell you that came from Jupiter. No way. No way. I don't believe that story for a second. What I do believe is a story I invented in my head. Which is, after all the other uh, 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 possibilities that he thought he might be able to garner, they were like, nah, 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 no, no, me -eh, mm -mm. right? For whatever reason. And I think it came time where the same person who said to him, hey, we need to show that you have a girlfriend, like, go, go do something about this. Said and said, listen, we need an heir, we need a spare, and if you can get us an extra spare, that's even better. So, a lot of time has passed, she is still hanging around, right? She's still there, she's still waiting with hopes. She seems like we can, you know, we can manage her. She'll do what we tell her to do, blah, 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 bling, 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 allegedly, and all of a sudden, there's an announcement. Because what he's basically done, he's done exactly what his father has done. Exactly what his father has done. Same story. He didn't even change, like, the attitude or anything. Same story. It's just... And there she is. You know? She married him. I'll tell you one thing. Let me let me say let me say this too. And none of you come for me, all right? I'm just saying it because that's the way I feel. I think as long as Harry was there, she was happy. And William was quite happy to have Harry around because that man did not love his wife. Any man that publicly is treated like Harry would have to go like, dude, it's raining. Can you get her an umbrella? Dude, like here, here is your brother having to teach you manners as to how to treat your wife. That's embarrassing. At least for her, because he didn't seem to care two mangoes. One way or the other. He really didn't. And I, you know, when you feel l'amour, when you feel like there's love, or, or better yet, you know, in the movies when they say, you know, they've got, they've got chemistry, right? They, I never saw that between them. If anything, I saw the way she would look at Harry. And I was like, hmm. I was like, I don't know about this chick. I think she married the wrong brother. 
because she keeps looking at the other one like 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 yeah so i think it as long as harry was there it was convenient for both of them because she got what she needed was was a nice gentleman um a guy's guy you know who will actually i know talk to her and ask her how she's feeling how how is she doing whatever right and then william and her basically got to if if things were going wrong or anything they had to spare to blame despair right they just went oh blame him so he he his function he had dual or triple function thank god they're out of there man thank god so i think she's been in an unhappy marriage but it worked because i think as long as she was still um producing like the you know she had she got she has the air then then they needed the spare right and they, they, they were they were good so they didn't need to treat her nice anymore but when she got pregnant with the other with the with the extra spare you know they're like oh, oh man she's pregnant again so we need to kind of like lay off her a little bit but as soon as that one came i think i think william was just like okay i'm done I, I did what you folks said. Now let me go do what I, what I what I really want to do and leave me alone. Because the way he was treating her in public, too, like no man who loves his wife treats someone like that. And you know when I thought that things were really going south, I was like, okay, all jokes aside, things are going south. It was when she wore that Handmaid's Tale outfit, that red thing. With a big bow, and I know the bow is supposed to be like represented as something like the Korean, like national, um, um, natural, natural, cultural wear. Like that doesn't even get close to it. I'm sorry. And that hat and everything, she looked like she was screaming for help. Like I honestly, when I saw her and the pictures with with her legs out and how she was getting out of the car and everything else. I was just like, something is not right in this carriage. Like, it's not, like, something is going on. And I honestly thought she was under a lot of dis um, distress or something. So that is where I was like, yeah. I don't know. Something is not, something's not right. So, you know... That's that's what I have to say about that, and and the picture that that is out with her by the weeping, uh, what's it called? A trigger, weeping mellow, no weeping, weeping something. Um, I don't know. Some people are already saying that is touched up. Certain things are, not, are weird by her by her ankle. Blah blah blah. At the end of the day. I don't know if we will ever know the truth. So I don't know if we will. No, I don't know if we'll ever know the truth. That that's it. Because you know they 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 write the stories, and they say oh, this king was like that. This queen 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 Elizabeth the first was like this. What are we going to do? Like question it and be like, no, it wasn't. We weren't there. But they have the records or whatever they have. So whatever they tell us that's happened, unless there's an investigation and talking about the investigation, you know, put up the other picture, you know, with him going to M M M M I is it M I six or whatever. I like, what is he doing there? Like this whole thing about, you know, D day commemoration and him and the medals and, and, and King Charles looking like a freaking payaso. Right? Like, just, he just was like a clown with these medals and the stick he was thinking. He looked like someone out of, like, one of those cheesy, comedic movies where they, like, make dictators from South America look a certain way and make South America look like, I don't know, there's pigs and, and chickens running all over the place in the capital cities. Listen, people. <laughs> That's not how it is in South America, okay? Like, most capitals are like any other capital developed 
We don't have chickens and and ducks and whatever running across the street. <sighs> so I, 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 yeah. What was he doing there? Now, I'll tell you what the first thought I thought. I was like, did they call him in to like question him on certain things? And then my next thing was, did they call him in so that they can explain to him what the story is going to be? Like, how are they going to take care of things? Hmm? I mean, allegedly, like, I'm, listen, I don't want to be some conspiracy theorist here, but I think it's okay to like, let the imagination go because they are just feeding us nothing. If not half truth or no truth or whatever, and just complicating things more. So for whatever reason he was there for, I find that whole thing very interesting. You know, it's not like I want to connect dots and make things like whatever, but the whole thing with when she went missing and the big scandal and then the, the, the picture, um, you know, where international newspapers were like, we're not printing this stuff. This is not, this is, yeah. And then Obama showed up out of nowhere to go to like 10 Downing Street. And I was like, why is Obama in London? I'm not saying like the man is not a, he's, he's a former president, right? And he's like, oh, I'm just, I'm just, I was just in London. I just came to say hello to these people. I'm not imitating Obama by any means, because I can't. But I just found the whole thing strange. And then next day, like, it just, and then, I don't know, the next week or something, they said that, that whole sit down by the bench and my husband is next to me and by my side and he's not by your side. Um, I don't know. It's also strange makes me feel weird yeah so what was william doing there hmm? inquiring minds would like to know whatever it was that he's doing there i'm telling you this whole starting to realize like every <laughs> everything is inter interconnected and 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 the, and the rich stay rich and the powerful stay powerful because even the agencies are working for them frankly allegedly now, this next picture of uh, William, look how handsome he looks. Come on. Come on, folks. Come on. Come on. He looks good. No? No? Gosh, you guys are, you guys are terrible. Give the guy a little break here. <laughs> he looks, listen, okay. Let's say, this is the way I'm looking at this picture, okay? If I didn't know him, or knew of him or any of that stuff. And someone just showed me this picture. I would go, he looks like a guy in finance. Or someone who is cheated on his wife. No, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. He looks like, I don't know. He looks like someone who works in corporate. Like, I don't know. But then as I look closer... I mean, the, 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 the photo obviously is, you know, makes him look, look, makes him look good. But it almost is like one of those photos where they tell you like, okay, so move your head a little bit to the left. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Your chin a little bit up. Yeah. Just right there. Right there. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Now, now I need you to gaze in, 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 in the, like, in the, in the beyond, just to sort of gaze into into the nothingness of your life. I mean, into the, the in, into like out, out of the train and into like your, your kingdom. And he's just like, he gazes out and, 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 and okay. So just move, we we'll let the sun gently caress your cheek and, and perfect. That's what it looks like. It's like so staged, so like fabricated. There's no spontaneity to it. He doesn't look like someone. I know this is so cliche and stupid. You know where they say, "Hey, yeah, you know a politician if you can sit down and have a beer with a politician." Listen, I don't want to sit down and have a beer with most politicians. Like they're just freaking liars and morons, anyways. But he honestly doesn't look like someone I want to sit down and have a beer with. Not even wine. Not even a cocktail. Because it is because I, it's not like I know him. 
but we know the stories about him. And I just want to like be like, dude, what did you do? And why are you taking advice? Look, listen, since I started this podcast, I've been saying, William, William, fire the people you've got around you. They're not doing you any good. Now, I also have a theory about that. So you see, I'm jumping, I'm jumping from one thing to another. And that's why after dark, okay? I don't need to think about what I'm saying. I just need to say it. I think that here's the code word. There's a horse who's behind all of this. You guys are laughing? I was trying to be funny. Okay, it's after dark. But in all seriousness, I think that allegedly, I think Camilla knows that she will never, no matter how many articles, how many of these other idiots like kiss her rear end or whatever they do, she'll never even get close to occupying the the space that Diana occupied. Doesn't matter what she do, doesn't matter how much jewelry she she puts on, and all, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. But I think that her revenge is not about Charles. Charles, she's got Charles drinking her bath water, okay? That's disgusting, allegedly. I think her revenge is Diana's kids. I really do. The way she's treated Harry, and I think she saw in William someone she could manipulate. And someone she can put certain people around him so she has control. I think I think there's a lot of stuff that that it's it's too convenient how her name is never mentioned in anything rarely rarely and i mean the theatrics on d day and you see how quickly they didn't they didn't they didn't pass it off as no oh how dare madame macron try to like touch the hands of royalty. Listen. Gosh. Gosh knows where those hands were before. Besides, she was wearing gloves. Give me a break. The woman who talked about tampons and, and, and putting things, you know, wherever. And, oh, come on. Who was having another man on her bed? Same as she said with her husband, allegedly, allegedly. I have no respect. For <laughs> Please. So I think she's. I think she is behind a lot of things. I don't know. I don't know. You know. I don't have an insider telling me anything. I don't have, you know, some experts. But something just tells me. So. My <laughs> my source is as valid as any other Royal Rota source. <laughs> Something just tells me that that's the way it is. Okay. All right. That's it. Oh man. So those are those those are the pictures, folks. Those are the pictures. All right, so the next pictures are the 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 supposed wedding of the century. I mean, was it though the wedding of the century? What do you what do you folks think? Number one, all right. <laughs> Number one, I should have a countdown for everything. Um, I I I don't like when people are like. The wedding of the century, the wedding of the decade, the wedding, the wedding of the whatever. Okay? The wedding of that moment. Done. Because there is a there's a person getting married like two corners or up the street somewhere that I don't know. 
they also think their wedding is the wedding of the century or the millennium or whatever. So I think he's a good looking fellow. Like he's a good looking guy. I mean, and let's face it also like, I don't know, 10 billion plus also makes people look really charming. Allegedly. There's no like, you know, money hungry people around here. We're all, we work hard for our, our coin, our bag. And you know, we're not that kind of people allegedly. So, so I, I, I don't know what to say about this wedding. I really don't. All I know is that I couldn't, I couldn't find a minority. Well, maybe there was, but I didn't see them. I kept looking for like, you know, when you go to certain places, like you go to a wedding or like an, an event and you don't know anyone. And as a minority, you, you, you scan the room really quickly to see the next, <laughs> to see if you're like, see if you can find someone else. And you're like, oh, I found someone. And you're like, and you get to the person you're like, hey, and they're like, who are you? <laughs> and you're trying to make like a connection because you're like, we are the only two colored people here. Or <laughs> and they're as snotty as anything. <laughs> they're like, don't want to talk to you because they think they're better than you. And they're like, oh, <laughs> I don't know if that's happened to any of you, but it's happened to me before. Where I was like, I was like, oh my God, okay, great. I see someone else that, you know, it's not white. So I, I'll, you know, get close at least like we can we can work these this room together or something, you know. At at least we have something in common. So you go there and you're like, oh hi, I'm so and so and and they're like okay. And you're like, so how are you? Like what what if it's a company thing of you know what um what brings you to 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 this meeting or to the conference or whatever. And <laughs> And they're so disinterested in speaking to you because they're too busy trying to like make contacts with the other white people. <laughs> and you're like, hey, I wanted us to be buddies. <laughs> okay, I like I digress. What was I talking about? Yes, the wedding of the century. So it, listen, they looked fine. Uh, it, aristocratic. They all look like Dressed the same way, they went to the same modiste, got their outfits, got the hat, or the not the fedora, the 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 the, the fascinator, fascinator, and um, her tiara looked a lot like Kate's um, Kate's wedding band thing that she had uh, for the um, coronation, but I think her is real, like real. And the one that Kate was wearing was in real gems or whatever. Yeah, look fine. Wish them all the best. And um, yeah, happily ever after. Her family is money too. Her family is in banking and stuff like that. Have you seen the estate? I watched a documentary on on the um, the Westminsters, and. It's quite fascinating. It was, was good. They, they, they own a lot. And it's interesting how the heir to, like, you know, the one, the, the, the male heir, whatever, um, each generation has actually done well, like invested well or, or, or decided to do this. I think, though, if, if my memory suits me, but it, it never, when I need it, it kind of like goes, yeah, you're on your own. That's my memory. Um, I think it was one that kind of messed up things a little bit and they had to like recoup money and they did something. I, anyways, I don't remember. Anyways, they are gazillionaires. Okay. Well, bil bil billionaires, billionaires. So yeah, you know, nothing special. I didn't understand why they had that plywood thing, like that riser to go into the church. Like, couldn't they put like, I know, fake grass or like a red carpet or a blue carpet or something it just looked i don't know wrong but then again and um 
I don't know. It didn't look like, you know, like... Yeah, I'm finished with that. It's done. It, it's fine. I wish them all the best. And, you know. Oh, we have some more pictures. Um, okay, so this one here was during D-Day. And one of the uh, veterans asked William, allegedly, how Kate was doing. And his answer to her, to him, was, oh, she would have loved to be here. She wanted to be here. Would have loved. So he didn't answer the question how she was doing. And this is the second time I think I've, I've seen him do that, not answer the question, just say, oh, she would have loved to have done this. Don't you find that weird? Anyways, I guess we'll find out in the next few hours because either she'll appear on the balcony or not. So we'll know. Um, and I, I know we've, we've kind of hit this over the head, like way, and everyone has had enough of it, but they really should stop this masquerade thing with like the medals. I know it's to make the, the sovereign and whatever feel like they're the, you know, because they don't go into battle anymore. Right? I mean, during the nights, like the night when Lancelot and those people were alive, <laughs> were alive, <laughs> and bringing fiction and reality and with the same thing, when Robin Hood was alive. <laughs> like sometimes like kings were at the head of, 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 of the wars and stuff. So I think, I'm not sure. Anyways, I... We live in today's mo mo modern day age, and I just think it looks ridiculous. Like, they should not be wearing me medals. They didn't earn any of these m medals. They're just, there's decoration because, you know, they attended a jubilee or something. Or they were, or the whole thing about, you are the general something of the Irish guard, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, is she? What does she know about, oh, man. So bizarre. But then again, what do I know? All right, let's go back to the wedding a little bit because I need to say something about Eugenie. Eugenie, I love you. I actually love you. I think that since I saw that you like you went to Montecito <clears throat> and you and Megan were friends before and that whole like, Halloween thing, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm like, all right, you're in my my corner. I love you, and you look like you look good. But can we get you some better undergarment, like sister? Like, let's just like get better ones that will mm and mm. I, even I know that. Like, come on. Because I like how she looks here. She looks great. I'm sure you can't wait to get back to, like, Portugal. You know, it's, it's her sister. The other one, Beatrice, I think. That one, I don't trust her. No, I don't trust her. There's something about her. I think she likes the whole chaos, and she wants to be be in there pulling the strings and doing all the deviant stuff, too, and whatever. I don't know. Allegedly and allegedly. Just weird. Ah, what? I know some of you will not be interested in this at all, but for my people in the UK, what a freaking embarrassment. With, with, <laughs> can't even say it. That's right. He left the D, <laughs> the D day, like, Ceremony, come, 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 to go to a freaking interview. What is wrong with that man? What is wrong with him? Like, who advised you to leave? It's not going to look good, no matter how you try to. Well, I was no matter how you. Doesn't matter, man. I don't know. I just see what happens in that election because I think there's a lot of fixing that needs to happen. 
a lot of effects in. Okay. I think, Madame and Monsieur, um, I am going to sign off. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for more. I think I've said a few things I wanted to say. Oh, um, you know, just wanted to bring attention that yesterday was the seventh year anniversary of um, Grenfell. And it's a pity that the quote unquote working royals did not do anything to really, and it really shows the in, inefficiency of this whole, we show up and we give you a little smile and shake and a wave or whatever. Like Megan wasn't even royal officially yet. She had not married Harry yet. And she saw, and she already was like, okay, you know, you're the royal family of this, of this, of this, of this kingdom. Let's, we need, these people need it. And they, they're just like nothing, nothing, nada, zinch, zero. You know, she got in there. She, the, 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 the together um, cookbook, it, 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 it brought in like, I think over now half a million pounds. And then that, that, that person, you know, has the gall to write what she wrote about terrorists and all that nonsense. Like, it's just, you, when you start to add and you put things together, you know, the people that, that 1% that have power to stuff in the UK, Man, they've they've really got that. They've really they're messing messing things up, man. They have people believe in nonsense, just writing lies, and and you know, I, I I if anyone had told me that the things that are being revealed today about you know what goes goes on. I would have said no, not not Britain. You nuts. No, there's order here. There is there's there's process. There is you know there's norms, there's manners. We you we know what, what jacket to wear to this, and we know what whatever to wear to that, and everything has its place and yeah. I guess I was delusional. Well, I'm delusional about a lot of things. All right, folks. I will see you or we'll chat later. Let's see what happens with this, um, this celebration later today. And again, Kate, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I really only wish for the best. I, I, anyways, folks. Muchas gracias. I will say that the other two um, recordings were more fun. And they were way more fun. This, is, this one was a little bit dry, but at least I think I'll keep my channel <laughs> still. Because the other two, oof, they were, they were not, yeah, not for consumption. All right, we'll see if we, if Kate or a Kate lookalike shows up. Take care. We'll we'll chat soon.